Welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, you'll learn how to get the selected item from a spinner. So over here, I have a spinner containing five states. And when I select one of them and click the Get Item button, it displays the currently selected item, so California. If I select Texas and press the button, it displays Texas. And this is what you'll learn how to do. So if you don't already have the code, uh, you can pause the video or copy it from the GitHub repository in the video description. Inside the main activity.java, it's the same as the previous lesson. I have my spinner object. I'm also setting an adapter on it, uh, to, which contains a list of st states that I'm going to display. I have this button over here, this uh, get text button or get item, and I'm going to set an on click listener. So inside the on click method is where I'm going to display the selected item from the spinner. So to get the selected item, I'm going to say string s as uh, a string state. And the reason it's a string is because I have a list of strings in my spinner. So string state equals spinner dot get selected item. And you can see this returns an object. So that's where we're going to say dot to string. And that's basically it. This is how you get the selected item from the spinner. If you want to go ahead and make a toast to display that, we can say toast dot get tech, make text, get application contest state. And then we can say toast dot length long or short dot show. And now if I run this, we can see the result. All right, so I have the app open over here and you can see I have the spinner as well as the get item button. So when I press it, it creates this toast over here with the currently selected item. If that selected item changes, so if I were to select maybe NJ for New Jersey and now I press the button, you can see it makes a toast saying NJ. If you would like to learn how to get the selected item as soon as the user changes it, so for example, as soon as I click WA, it create, uh, makes a toast saying Washington instead of having to press the button to do that, subscribe to stay tuned when that tutorial comes out. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.